in this video, we're going to again work with vectors and determine if a certain vector is a linear combination of a different collection of vectors. So the vectors we'll work with in this example are x1, x2, and x3. Here are the three vectors. And our question again is, given this vector b, which is 1, 2, 3, is b a linear combination of x1, x2, and x3? That's our question that we're trying to ask. Mathematically, what that means is, is it possible to write b as a linear combination of the vectors x1. So is it possible to find alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3 to make this equation true? So this is the vector form of the equation that we would like to solve, if possible, for alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3. Equivalently, I can write that as an augmented matrix. So the augmented matrix has x1 as the first column, x2 as the second column, x3 as the third column, and the vector b forms the fourth column of this augmented matrix. And if I can solve this augmented matrix, it will tell me what alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3 are. In general, solving an augmented matrix means performing elementary row operations to manipulate the augmented matrix into a reduced form or a row reduced echelon form. And I've got lots of other videos where we walk through the intricate details of that. For now, we're going to skip the algebra steps of doing that process. We're going to go ahead and just skip the algebra and just state what the final row reduced form of this augmented matrix is. So here is the row reduced echelon form of the augmented matrix. And when I look at this augmented matrix, something interesting happens. This very last row is all zeros except for a single one on the fourth column. So what this equation is saying, this final row, is that 0 equals 1. That's what we have. On the left side we have zeros, on the right side of the equation we have 1. So this fourth row, or third row, I'm sorry, really says that 0 equals 1. Well obviously that is not true. That's what we call a contradiction. 0 is not equal to 1. So what this means is that this augmented matrix does not have a solution. I cannot solve this augmented matrix. There is no solution. There are no values of alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3 that make this equation true. So since there is no solution, that means that B is not a linear combination of x1, x2, and x3. So I cannot write B as a linear combination of these three vectors because I can't find alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3. There is no solution. Another way of saying this mathematically is that B is not in the span of x1, x2, and x3. Again, remember, the span of a set of vectors is a set and it contains all linear combination of the vectors. So we just figured out that B is not a linear combination of these vectors. So even though this set, the span of x1 and x2 and x3, has a lot of vectors, b is not one of them, because b is not a linear combination of x1, x2, and x3. So we use this symbol, the not an element of, to say that b is not an element of the span. So that's the end of that example. We figured out that b is not a linear combination of the vectors x1 and x2 and x3, by forming an augmented matrix, doing simple row reduction operations to solve for alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, and we found out that there was no solution.